What's up, nerds? I'm Xavier, owner of Ebony Warrior Studios. Today I'm gonna show you some easy tips on how to weather your fabric for your cosplays. First things you're gonna need are some sandpaper. I recommend 150 grit and your fabric. Let's do it. So I'm working on a Gandalf the Grey cosplay. And this is his Ruana, which is a version of a cloak. It's basically a giant rectangular pattern with a hood. So what I'm doing here with my sandpaper, Gandalf, using the reference photos that I have of Gandalf, um, I can see on his Ruana, when he's facing forward, he has three distinct holes within his Ruana. So there's one that I've already done down here and then there's one up in the corner near the edge, and then there's another one on the right side of his Ruana. So I'm gonna show you how I make those holes on the Ruana. Now this is much easier to do, or it looks better on a natural fabric. If you're using something synthetic, polyester, you won't get the best looking fraying on your fabric, but because this is 100% linen, it looks phenomenal. So what you're gonna do, it's really, really easy. You take your fabric and because it's a little bit stretchy, you're gonna hold it in place and you're gonna sand in one direction. Sand in one direction. And you can see it starting to take up some fabric. Fabric is starting to come up. And it's starting to tear. You can see a hole starting to form right there. So you can see a form, it's a natural uh, hole forming right now. All you have to do is keep working at it until you have the hole the size that you want. I know that this hole is a little bit smaller. So now that the hole is opened up, you can see it right there. What I'm gonna do, just move some of this lint out the way. Because it's already frayed because of the sandpaper, I'm gonna go in and cut these fibers that are still connected within the hole. I'm just gonna cut those extra long fibers out. I'm gonna take those extra long fibers out. One more long one here. And you wanna leave a little bit of the, the smaller fraying fibers, you wanna leave those in there because it looks like a natural wear and tear kind of hole, especially since he's, you know, been on Middle Earth, in Middle Earth for hundreds of thousands of years and walking everywhere, riding everywhere. He's gonna have lots of little scuff marks and holes on his um, tunic and his cloak and things like that. So that's an excellent way, an easy way to get weathering um, holes within a uh, fabric cosplay. Next up, I'm gonna show you how to. In so if you look at Gandalf's overall costume, most of the weathering is from dirt and from mud. So there's not really much you have to do in the way of blood or orc blood, things like that, um, or rust. Those are different techniques. So mud is pretty simple. You have two ways that you can do it. Um, you can get real mud or dirt from outside and you can rub it into your fabric. It's a little more um, labor intensive because you have to go through the process of rubbing it into your fabric, putting it into uh, your washer and dryer um, to, or basically just a tumble cycle in your dryer to bake it into the fabric. Um, I don't really like that method, a little time consuming. So you can use acrylic paints to really get a muddy look on your costume. And it's cheap and easy to do. So what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of brown, just a touch of brown, and then a touch of tan onto my little paint plate over here, right there. <laughs> a little bit of both onto the plate. And what I'm gonna do is just take my brush here. This has seen some battle. You're gonna dip your brush into 
I like to do brown first and then highlight with my tan. So I'm gonna do a little bit of brown and then I don't want an excessive amount. So I'm just gonna dab a little bit off. So I'm gonna go around this hole. I'm just gonna dab around this hole in the fabric. And the key here is getting this burnished into the fabric. Now you don't want it to look like it's just painted on top. You want it to look like it's actual mud that has been rubbed into the fabric. So you're gonna dab it on there and then you're going to go around with your brush in the direction of the stain. So in a star pattern, it's essentially you're gonna go all the way around going at an angle, just straight out from that cut or straight out from that hole, okay? And you can see how it's starting to smear itself into the fabric. Like that, okay? And you can use your fingers because it's acrylic paint, so you don't have to worry about it. So you can go in there and burnish with your fingers just a little bit. See how the fabric folded right there? I don't want it to, I don't want that spot to be missed. So we're gonna dab just a little bit more right there. And we're gonna brush out just a little bit, just like that. Just like that. And then we're gonna take a little bit of our tan. Same method. Brush that off. And I'm gonna go around the edges of the actual tear with the tan. And then I'm gonna use the unpainted side of my brush and burnish that in. See, just a little bit more and burnish it in. And you can see it's starting to give it some life, just like that. And I'm gonna put a little bit more tan, just in random spots on the outside, just burnish it in. And then you can do flecking, um, or you can do little dabs of tan to represent like mud splatter. I like to do that too. So just like little dabs here and there. Little dab, little dab bigger dabs just like that Get a little on the brush and then make a little paint spot just like that so you can see it's like a mud splatter all the way around it so um, another way you can get some nice paint uh, distress texture is by crinkling up your fabric like this and then you can mix a little bit of your tan and brown Mix it up and then dab it off just a little bit and, and crinkle up your fabric like this and then just dab on that crinkle, 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 crinkle. And the same method, just brush it out. <laughs> brush it in, you're gonna get a little bit of paint on your fingers. That's okay, cause it's acrylic. And once you pull it out, see that sort of distressing look? Isn't that fantastic? So these are easy ways that you can weather your cosplays and get them to look realistically weathered and lived in just like they would be in Middle Earth. If this tutorial helped you, let me know in the comments. I hope to do more of these. As always, this is Ebony Warrior Studios with blinding speed, master quality, untold savagery.